Right, I should probably get this this walkthrough back up. I thought you were about to say, I think I should buy this game. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not what I was thinking. You at know all. what I've been considering doing? Buying Moorcroft Man. Moorcroft Man. Don't go Moorcroft Man. I don't know what that is. <laughs> well, I mean, lucky for you. It's, uh, I think it's for, I hope it's freeware. <laughs> Boys, I'm in trouble. Right, let's, let's get cracking. It's abandoned where, right? Um, I think, yeah. it, I think, a ba- let me look at it. It's the most abandoned thing you've ever seen in your life. <laughs> <laughs> right, uh, yeah, okay, right. so we need. We need to find this dagger, right? Yeah, we're finding the dagger. We know where the ring is now, and we know where. Oh no, that was it, right? That's <laughs> just the ring. Uh, there was a rod, right? Uh, and the wooden rod. Yeah, you know where to I'm get the wooden rod. Yeah. I'm not going to miss that noise. Alright, uh, then let's go to the landing. So we're still doing the not really caring. For now, thing, yeah, we? because I think gonna... we're trying to find this thing, so let's just... Let's just go to the toilet. That was a good start. What? I, I, I am. That was, that was fourth on the left, right? It's the toilet. That one. Or was it mid? No, it can't have been mid because mid's Leo's room. I swear I went to this one. Yeah, that's that's correct. I think this is the bathroom. Ah. Okay. We we've just gone to the toilet twice. <laughs> It's going to make for a riveting episode. <laughs> so it's last door on the left is where the uh, stuff is. Oh, okay. Like that we already know about. Well, yeah, I was just going to grab it. But I don't know, maybe that was... Yeah, okay, I remember this room. So the ring is at the top, right? That's the one. Uh, yes, please. And then we found, I think we found a dagger in the cupboard, but it wasn't the right dagger? That's that right? right, yeah. So let's just quickly try... Oh, hi, right, Guy. Um, let's try and look in some of these other rooms. I guess we can't do that one because Luke is right there. Um, so let's choose a different room. Luke oh. is for walking with you Luke down the is, corridor. Luke is just hanging next to me, watching me go to rooms. What about that one. We're alone for this one. Oh. Ah, uh, it's the bar. We've not been in this room. We've not been in this room. I could have sworn we've probably not been in a whole bunch of different rooms. Um, this is the bathroom. As is the other one's like a toilet. Okay. Another dagger, but that was... Who would have thought Again. there were so many daggers? There's a lot of murder weapons, just generally. Why is there a dagger in the uh, bathroom? Why not? One of those old school shavers. Like yes, they they so... do it with a knife. Right. Shaving brush. Cutthroat razor. Oh, an actual, an actual. <laughs> yeah, d- if you don't want the dagger, you can use this one. These are all more. Those are all things that conventionally. Yeah, that are fine. Oh my word! It's alphabetical, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> they haven't paired things in uh, use. We've been doing this for a little while. I would expect to sort of have some sort of muscle memory on this stuff, but the list is so long that it just throws me every time. Yeah, it kind of disables any ability to do that. 
Uh, oh, Bob's Bob. there now. <laughs> Bob didn't see me. We haven't been in here. I don't think so. Now there's three things to look at again, so let's hope we get through this quick. Did you search ah, self again? Yep, yeah, of course I did. Oh, let's read you. No, it's Scratch. Mortville. Dear sir, I am writing to you on the subject of our business deal. I've decided oh, we have done this. to go all the here. way... Oh, have we? Yeah, we've read this before. Yeah, you're right. Now, I didn't notice there was a third th uh, thing to open in this room last time. Which is the chest. The oh, thing that's that the guy up top. there? Yeah. Okay, hang on. Yeah, alright, well the other thing was in a... Let's get it. I bet it is. I believe in you. That looks like, oh, that looks like it. That bingo. looks like it. Look at you. You were a suspiciously ornate dagger. No, you just didn't take it. Did I? <laughs> you ah, just clicked move. I'm so bad at more. this game. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that was funny. Right. I don't want that one, though. Right, so it's this room and this room that have all the stuff. Max. So we also need to get that rod. Okay, let's go and grab it then. Uh, choice on screen. That was in here, I think. I've remembered a few things, clearly. Ha, <laughs> hello. Okay, and I think that's everything. I think that's all we actually need. So that's... we can go then? Yeah, you can go to the cellar now. Oh, I can't wait. Right, cellar. So it's... it's dagger in that hole. And it's like... it's not put, it's... it's place. Oh, the wall slides open. A passage. Do you follow it? And we'd be like, no, I don't think so. That was a very creaky door. <laughs> a cre oh, God, this is the quiz. Oh, God, it's going to ask us questions on the story. Oh, well, I'm certain to know the answers, knowing absolutely nothing of what's going on here. Before going any further, you decide to look back on the knowledge you gained. Or didn't. Julia. Julia. Did she... Did she commit suicide? Was she murdered? Did she die by accident? Did she die of natural causes? So I think natural causes. This is like... She had a pulmonary embolism, right? Yeah, I mean... If we're to believe... The art... 90% of the people. Yeah, our interview candidates... When they were... Allowing us to talk to them, they they mostly said pulmonary pulmonary embolism. Yes, to say very slowly. One person said cold, right? She got a yeah. cold, but that would still be natural. And there's yeah. been nothing that we found in our very brief. I mean, what have we actually found? We found nothing. We found nothing. Well, that's not true. We found some scrolls, mm. which. I have no idea what they were talking about. There was something about music in one of them, wasn't there? We found some similar uh, iconography in the well. Mm -hmm. We found some notes, so we know that someone is having an affair with... Ava was having an affair with Luke. So Ava, Ava's having an affair with Luke. I think so, yeah. We found out something about some dodgy dealings, right? Someone 
is crooked. I'm now I'm feeling. I feel like I'm now starting to make this up. But what did that last note say that we just read? The last one was Pat to Frank. Is uh, is it Pat? And uh, one of them. One of them is like. Uh, was it embezzling? What was it? It was uh, doing something. Right. Okay. Someone, someone's doing something forgery of some kind. And then I'm sure we read something about a burglary or some sort of robbery at some point. Hmm. Uh, and someone owes someone some money. Um, I think it was someone owes um, Guy some money. Guy seems to be in the centre of a lot of things. Yeah. But yeah, okay, so let's go with if she died. Did she die of natural causes yet? All right. Where did the money used for the restoration of the manor come from? Um, I I think this one's races. Um, we don't know anything about it, but from this is one of the few that's mentioned in the in the. Oh really? Okay, so thing. yeah, I mean, I don't remember hearing anything about any races. Basically, Leo's going to be like a gambler. He is likes he? gambling, and um. Wow. Okay. I thought he liked scrolls. Yeah, he also likes gambling, I think. He's he's a fanatic of history and gambling. Wow. Apparently okay. someone says that if you ask them about his profession. What is Leo's hobby? Well, we know that. Yeah. He's into this business, scrolls. Yeah, I think that's right. Julia left several clues that are represented in one place. Which one? Didn't you say there was a coat of arms? In the dining yeah, the room. Yeah, the coat of arms was in the dining room, but is that the clue? But that's one where there were objects, icons in the in one place, because it was all in the. You said it was all in the bat, in the the symbol, the emblem, or sigil. Oh yeah, I mean yeah, but I, I mean that's just this person saying they collected all the things from the. From the thing. Oh, okay. I mean, I guess it could, it could be because I mean they were very useful. I mean, do we see any <laughs> other set of clues all in one place? No, not really. So it's that or a stab in the dark. Yeah. So let's do it. The main clue that le- leads you to the underground door is <laughs> parchment. It's meant to be, or letter, or. I mean, these the dagger opens the thing. We haven't used the ring. I don't remember getting a book. There were rune. Were there rune? No, there were no runes. This was just there was just nonsense in those two parchments. Yeah, I, I have a feeling that might be a translation thing, but I, it's hard to know. I don't know what the pendulum is. So no, I haven't seen one. Oh well, it's telling us what the expected answer is. By the way, what? In the in the status window and scum. What? <laughs> if you look at the scum, uh, st- there's you know um. Is that real? Is that real? I think it's saying expected answer this. Expected answer this. I mean, it's obviously the answer for the ones we've just answered. So I might write that down. <laughs> huh. Well, that's one way to get over this, I guess. Yeah. If that's true. How many parchments were there in the manor? Three, I think. So we found two, but you mentioned three. Yeah, there's apparently one more. Where was that then, I wonder? Did we find three? No, we only found two. We only found two. There was one in Leo's room, and there was one in... The study? Yeah, in the study. I wonder where the other one is. Oh, that's the sort of question that makes me wonder if we should play longer, but I really don't want to. <laughs> right. Three. Well, we can keep. Yeah, Apparently, we can always have an answer to. Spend... <laughs> this is okay. I mean, I didn't. I wasn't looking forward to answering these. I didn't think we would have the answers. How... So, how many? We only know so, of eight people, don't we? There's nine, from what I know. There's the eight people here, and then there's nine. Who's the who's apparently the person that got murdered. So who's ten? Um. Who's the extra person? 
No, no, no. As in, that's not including. Nine does not include Julia. Julia is not murdered. She died of natural causes. Yeah, but there's another person that got murdered. <laughs> what? Uh, a, a person called Muriel. Oh, okay. So she's an extra person. Yeah. That name sounds familiar. Would well, we see a picture of her? We've seen a picture of her. Yeah. Yeah. So someone. She's. We she, talked she's... to someone and they mentioned Muriel being a friend of Julia. I didn't realise yeah. she lived in the house. Yeah, apparently. Okay, right. Okay. Oh, all well, this. It would have been nine and not ten. But... This is literally the most interesting this game has been. Um, well, it suggests there's a lot to it. Yeah. <laughs> Where? Right. What was the first name of the unknown character? Well, you just said Muriel. Yeah. And the expected answer is Muriel. <laughs> that really kind of blows... I'm not looking at it until I have a think. Who did Muriel have an affair with? Thank you. Oh. Um, so I didn't know the answer to this, so I just looked. And... that Does that mean that letter was not actually from... Eva? Yeah, maybe not. I oh, mean, wait. there's always been a bit of uncertainty as to which bedrooms are whose, regardless of... I can't believe it tells you the answer before you <laughs> answer the question. Well, that's, it's, that's, it's probably the nicest treat we've had. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> I didn't even notice. <laughs> like... I mean, we haven't got it all right. Haven't we? No, I don't think so, because we I think we, we did one wrong. Yeah, I think so. Oh. I wonder what seven was then. Muriel shared an occupation with one other person. Who? We knew, do know this, because this is the one time she got mentioned. They Apparently her and Leo got on really well, oh. because they shared a passion for history. Okay, I don't remember that at all. Yeah, that's the one. that's the one fact we did get. About Muriel. Oh, what's Eva doing? Oh, you realise that certain elements of this investigation remain a mystery for you. Therefore, you decide first to learn more before undertaking new risks. Did you just shut the door on me? Yeah, I think you can still take the knife and put it back in. Uh, what? It's not letting me take it, man. How about search? Because before you had to search the um, hole, didn't you? Yeah. That was so weird. All right, so look works for this one. So Eva came down to the basement as well. Uh, you said place, didn't you? Right, let's... All right, so let's just four. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven other. Okay, so, so it's not races. What is Leo's hobby? Start research. Uh, it was the dining room. Nice. The main clue that led you down is parchment. No, it isn't. So we guessed that. <laughs> the main clue that led us down was the internet. How many parchments are there in the manor? One, two, three. Been involved in the story. Ten. What's the first one? The Muriel. Who did Muriel have an affair with? Guy and Leo. Wow. There we go. Okay. So <laughs> nothing, um, nothing special here. Nothing, nothing special about this. So no. apparently now we need to get the ring and put it in that little ball. Right. Place, place, not put. And then you need to turn it. 
Right. Oh, okay. <coughs> Part of the stone wall pivots. A crypt. Do you enter? Yes. Oh. <laughs> uh. Rotting corpse. Deadly cryptomania. Oh, deadly. Deadly cryptomania. So, um... So, you can, if you search around, you'll be able to find a wooden object with a screw on it. Oh, I thought... It might be that. It might be look again. <laughs> Certain details lead you to believe death was not immediate. But I think it's something, you're trying to do something with the chest, I think in this case, based on what they're saying. Uh, has the treasure packed its trunk? <laughs> oh my god. So, even now, with all the answers, this is a pain. Oh, oh, okay. That is what you're looking for. Doorknob. So you, yeah, you want to take that. Wooden object. So who is this? This is Muriel. Oh, okay. So what's she doing in here? Uh, I don't know. I don't know any of those details. With a chest that we can't really look in unless we can and it is just a hotspot issue. And why has she got a spear in her chest? Not quite sure. Who so, apparently we're going to use this little wooden object with the screw on it in Muriel's room because there's a hole on her cabinet. Which room's Muriel's room? I don't know. We'll have to we'll have to look around again. Uh, okay. All right. So we just leave. Yeah, I guess so. How do we leave? Is there, there's a leave button, isn't there? Act. Oh, yeah. Leave. The ring turns. The wall closes. Can we take this back. I'm going to take it. Right. And then, I guess, leave, leave again. again. Oh, yeah, that didn't work last time. Yeah, it's look. Let's just look, I think, on the hole itself, yeah. Right. Still cool. Right. right, so there's a cat, so there's apparently a, uh, there's a hole on the top of the cabinet in Muriel's room, so not like the dresser, like the, just one of the, I guess the side table or something. Because it seems like you'd be able to see the top, so it could be that. There, yeah. that one. I couldn't think of any places where we'd actually really seen tops of things. Um, so, you figured out you need to. So you out put that the wooden rod in the top drawer needs to be slotted through the hole in the ball, so it could be turned. Uh, oh my word! Okay. Do you put those? I don't know. This is going to be a, a guesswork, even though we know the answer. Is there an actual reason to save this game? <laughs> right. Um, I just don't trust it's not going to screw me over. I'm going to put the ball in. Like place, I guess. And then I'm going to take the rod. I'm not even 100% sure. Attach. What is this? Try it. What is this meant to look like?
Ah. Okay. And then you can turn it, I think? A secret drawer. A notebook. How does that render a secret drawer? Okay. Because this side panel, do you see the side what, panel? This guy just, here. Yeah. I think so. I'm not quite sure how, but. Yeah, alright. Can't complain. Um, tenth of the first 51. We think we've solved the mystery of the manuscript and located the crypt. It is the idea of success in what seems like a dream that disturbs me. So is it the idea of success? <laughs> In what seems like a dream that disturbs me so. I feel I have committed myself rather too much. As far as Leo is concerned. No, I must go on. I should have put Guy in the picture. But for a week now, I've had no news of him. So is this Muriel then? I guess it's come from a secret drawer. Um, in her room, yeah. So is this meant to clue you in that it's Muriel? Who's in that? It's the body I, that we just yeah, discovered so. with a spear through it. Um, okay, well... Hmm. Don't really know. You don't know what implication Leo may have had in Muriel's death. Was she dead outright? What does that mean? I don't. I don't know. Was she just a? Was she just a bit dead? <laughs> or was she fully dead? Has she given herself to the cause? In any case, the family's problems that you have uncovered, yeah, fair enough, we found a few, in the course of your inquiries would explain Leo's behaviour. You're not sure that's the reason Julia had asked for your help, <laughs> but that's reason enough for you. Out of respect for her, after taking certain precautions, you have a revealing talk with Leo. When I saw you, I knew you would Whoa. uncover the truth. I knew why you were here. I had found the draft of Julia's letter. But I love to play, so. She hadn't wanted your task to be too easy, to protect me, probably. But she couldn't die knowing this mystery would remain unsolved. Did you find out that the Wall of Silence is the name the builders gave, during the construction of the manor, to the wall on which the coat of arms hangs? No. And those gifts Julia left before dying were as many false leads, and their true purpose was to highlight how important the parchments were. No. That's right. More than a year ago I was working with Muriel on the decryption of those manuscripts I had just found. My wife made the connection between our work and Muriel's disappearance, but she never had any proof. Except that ring she found one day while going through my belongings. One night, we went exploring the secret passage we had found. Muriel died by accident in the room of the Virgin. I quickly took the ring from her, found the treasure and ran away. I didn't think she was still alive, and I didn't say a word because I needed the money. I told everyone the money was coming from a winning bet at the horse races. Leave now, since you're not a policeman. Leave me alone. Wow, okay. 